Whenever we talk about economic successes on this channel, our featured countries have always been in Europe, Asia, or North America. But what about Africa? It's pretty uncommon. Nevertheless, in recent decades, we can find some countries that have done better than others and have even taken the lead to become true economic promises. Well, that has been the case of the protagonist of this video, a country we have never talked about before on visual politic. I'm referring to Ghana. This <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you again to another YouTube video on my channel. Or if you have never seen me before and you are seeing me for the first time, hi, my name is Lillian. Please, if you have not subscribed, kindly hit the subscription button. Ensure you on the bell so that anytime I upload a video, you will get notified. Do it to like this video. So as a Nigerian, I am so concerned about so many things happening in my country. But you know, my hopes are alive anyways. One day things will change. But see, sometimes to be a Nigerian is hard. It's very hard. Apart from the fact that my fellow countrymen, my fellow Nigerians, some of my country people has done the image of the country dirty. They have done all all sort of things to dent the image and reputation of other Nigerians and also the country itself. It makes it very hard for you to actually admit outside to put yourself out there and say, oh, I'm a Nigerian because so many uncertainty sets in once you admit or confess to be a Nigerian. But some of us have been looking past all that. I still stand proudly to say that I am a Nigerian, full-blooded, born, raised in Nigeria. And as you can see, evidently in my intonation, being a Nigerian uh, is actually not a bad thing but sometimes it's difficult when your people do things like this thing i'm about to state in this video so nigeria has been reduced to a country that celebrates the side of a white or white man seriously how did giant of africa got to that point where people are now running with their cameras to go film white people and post them as a validation on social media seriously wow anyways while nigerians were celebrating the sight of white men and the truth is not like some of these white people lives in nigeria they're just content creators that lives in their various countries of course some of them actually do live in nigeria but what i don't understand is why this massive celebration and jubilation on the streets of giant of africa <laughs> is 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 a shameful thing see white people are human being like us and that got me asking why that is it not was it not white people that colonized nigeria so why are we acting like we have never seen white people before are we that lonely anyways why nigerians were busy celebrating the sight of a white or white man on social media ghana is busy trending effortlessly on the global space no pushing no one talked about it the same people that nigerians are celebrating to see in nigeria ah busy talking about ghana in this manner i'm going to play this video right away so watch this video and i will be back whenever we talk about economic successes on this channel our featured countries have always been in europe asia or north america but what about africa it's pretty uncommon nevertheless in recent decades we can find some countries that have done better than others and have even taken the lead to become true economic promises well that has been the case of the protagonist of this video a country we have never talked about before on visual politic i'm referring referring to Ghana. This country in the western part of Africa, neighbor of the turbulent Burkina Faso, became an example of what African countries had to do in order to prosper. It's a country that has had gold as a tailwind. Yes, that's right, gold. Ghana is by far the largest producer in Africa and the sixth largest in the world. Visual politic viewers, we are not exactly talking about a wealthy country, but Ghana at $6,500 has one of the highest GDPs per capita in purchasing power parity of its entire neighborhood. It is only narrowly edged out by Ivory Coast. It may seem like a very low figure, and indeed it is, but if Ghana has stood out for anything in recent decades, it has been precisely for its accelerated economic growth and enormous political stability. At times it has become something of 
a model student for the entire continent. But exactly how did Ghana become the perfect example for all of Africa to follow? What ghost do we say now haunts this African nation? Is it a unique case? Or are we once again seeing things go wrong in the most unknown of all continents? Visual Politic viewers, today we are going to answer all these questions. But first, let's take a look at the foundations. Let's look at some history. Road to Prosperity Seriously, how did we get to that point where Ghana is busy trending effortlessly for the right reasons, yet giants of Africa is busy celebrating the, the side of a white or white man on social media? Growing up as a young girl in my village, I remember we used to have white reverend fathers and these people did so much good to the land. Yes, you have your resentments, your arguments, your beliefs and whatever. It's totally fine. But what I knew them to be growing up back then was them being reverend fathers. And they were busy educating our young people then, giving education to the people. They were busy giving education to the less privileged back then. For me, particularly where I come from, the only medical doctor we used to have before the emergency of the new ones, you know, glory to God, you know, he happened to be a product of white people in the land in Nigeria. So could this be why Nigerians are celebrating? Anyways, why Nigerians were still celebrating? They are still throwing a national party. Jaru, a black American man, a hip hop king, was in Ghana for another massive reasons before i tell you guys why jaru came to ghana and ghanaians are not even seeing it as anything let me play the clips i'll be back <laughs> first i want to say thank you I want to say thank you to everybody here for having me. I want to thank Kaylee. I want to thank Peace Pencils of Promise. Amazing opportunity. I'm very, very honored to be here. Happy to be a part of this groundbreaking of this new six block, six classroom block school here in Nuwaso. I'm so happy to be a part of this. This came about a few, maybe uh, last, last year sometime when I sat at the Pencils of Promise at the gala and they, they gave me an amazing award, an audacious, the Audacious Award. And I'm proud of that. And I'm proud to be out here and have the audacity to come out here to build a school in the middle of Africa for my people. And I, and I, and I, I know that this is going to be an opportunity that'll last for many, many years to come. This is just the beginning of something very special. As I look out into the crowd, I see a lot of beautiful students here from, from, from some of Pencil of Promise's other programs, and it's really, really dope to see them. The kids that just gave those amazing, amazing poems. That's what this is about. That's what Pencils of Promise is about. And for me, education is the pillar of community. Yeah. Do you want to know why Jaru is in town? Jaru is in town for this reasons. According to Business Ghana, the rapper, along with his wife and team, arrived in Ghana on Tuesday, April 9th, 2024, to break ground for the construction of a classroom block at Nuaso Anglican Primary School. Case closed. I don't have to spill it because Google has done all the explanation. The truth is, see, if you are my friend and you are a Nigerian, don't hate me. If it's okay to hate me, it's okay, okay? But the truth is, let us tell ourselves the truth. Do you know that sometimes the best time to get the best advice could be when you advise yourself, when you look into your life to say, okay, Kai, I don't need to suffer. God, I want a way out. But until you see that, until you admit, until you take a minute or to check deep, deep, take a break from all the arguments, take you know, just take a moment away from self-promotion, feeling like you are better, you are the best, you have it all going. Do you know that it's good to take a minute or two, pause and ask yourself these questions? Am I okay? What is lacking in me? Why am I acting like I need validation from people? Why, why, why? Because I still don't get it. The same Nigerians will still come online and say, Ghanaians are jealous of Nigeria. Like, I don't get it. If now you, 
which one will you be jealous who will be the one to be jealous among these two is it this one that is chasing white people let me play these clips i'll be back come on let's do these videos i'm not ice cream neither am i money to please people let's watch this clip everywhere is going bubbling with jubilation because this they, because nigeria giant of africa cited a white man on social media a content creator Pacho, i am done watch this one i'll be back this is how you put it there nigeria is number one I now am an official citizen of Nigeria. I am returning to Nigeria. Yes, if you can believe it, I am on my way back and I'm going to be going on an epic journey across the country that is going to change your perception of Nigeria. But he likes our pidgin English, he likes our culture, and who knows, maybe very soon he would like to set up here as his base. I'm talking about Nikki Toll, and he's here with us in the studio. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. Nikki. Thank Let's start so with what picked your interest in Nigeria. You're German, you know. Greek German. Greek German. My dad is Greek and my mom is German. Okay, so you're Greek German. Yeah. You have no affiliation to Nigeria whatsoever. Not by blood. I don't understand. When did we get to this point? This same my country in 2002. The same giant of Africa, my beloved, God bless Nigeria, came up with a law that banned white models in Nigeria. The same people that brought this news now, jubilating at the sight of white men in Nigeria, are the same people that came out to commend the Nigerian government's effort in banning white people, or banning white models and white whatever, white people on their space. What do we want? We celebrated the banning of white people. Okay, is that why we are all jubilating? Is that why? See, where a child is born plays a massive role in the life of that child. For me, I'm following Oibo Rebel on Instagram and I'm following Oibo Fabian. That one is Indian. Of course, I'm following almost all these guys, even the other young boy that speaks Yoruba, I'm following him, the white guy from Greeks, I'm following him. Do you know that these guys were born and raised in Nigeria? Yes, I mean, it's not that deep. These are human beings too. When Nigeria was still one of the best countries to live in, a lot of these people were there and they gave birth to their kids, just like the kids I'm raising in Ghana. This environment is going to play a massive role in their lives in future because of course they were raised here. So even if you're from another country, you have a child in another, expect that so why are we jubilating and celebrating at the sight of these people that lives in their own country i mean these guys were born raised breath in nigeria and still live there some of them some of them no longer lives there like oibo jelov lives in canada but yeah he creates content around nigeria because why not the other young guy alafi of oyo is his godfather so what is this jubilation on the streets or okay the german guy that came to nigeria because he wants collaboration with with afrobeat singers in nigeria what is this why can't we channel our energy to the right thing we'll do all these things later and come back and say other people are jealous of our progress can it progress inside seriously i don't understand what is what is progress inside people normal human being okay you finally accept that on what you put them they are superior to you or what i mean i don't get it because in ghana let me show you guys now let me show you guys a clip of this this particular clip that i personally took with this particular camera that i'm filming with i took this in far away Kweu, on top of the mountain four hours away from the city of accra ghana see white people are they come watch this video <laughs> Von Ost nach West 
And everyone is just going about their business because, man, white people now human being too. What is this uh, superiority? You cannot tolerate your brother. You cannot celebrate. You will never admit that other African countries are human too. But you are the first to run after Oibo. I don't get it. Anyways, it's a shameful thing sometimes. Seriously. In my next life, if God try him again, say he wants to make me a Nigerian, I will raise, I will make a case with him. You do things anyhow, looking for validation. You are bringing shame. But you, the real problem, you have refused to treat it. All this, is that you trying to repair your images or what? The image can't even be repaired until we accept that we have these issues going on. Until you start to preach to your best friend, your brother, who is into some shady deals that you do not understand until you hold him or her accountable until you ask them what are you doing what exactly do you do for a living how do you get your money i mean or you put an eye on them these are people i mean it begins from there until you start to be responsible until you make up your mind to say okay i am a nigerian but i want to stand out i will not cheat anybody i will not indulge in anything that will bring the image of my country down because come on now come on now the same country that everyone is running away from right now there are people that are willing to move anywhere possible cameroon go to the cameroonian border right now as I speak and see how my people are running away from home people just want to move anywhere possible shall I just go to anywhere they are not even thinking of the consequences of moving to another location moving to another country with or with no job they just want to move because moving is better than staying back we continue to live in denial but as we are struggling and smiling on social media i don't even have a problem with that of course do not allow your problems to reflect just like me now i have conceived my own like i have known but have them some people come on social media and fake why don't we nigerians just okay at this point i beg international communities make one come help us help us help our governments because they need help our government shouldn't be suffocated they should breathe rather than us constantly acting like we have it all going and then we still come on social media to disgrace ourselves <laughs> i of course come on eh come on they say i'm going to be mad at the content no i don't have anything against nigeria if nigeria is bailing rightly without some fake people coming on social media to make it look like Right. but hold on all this jubilation and celebration during election at that time i won't see how these same youtubers are going to deal with it because the same people the only people that are supporting you right now definitely when election comes except you are on their side I go there here, see waiting and go use you to mm, accept the best. That, well, let me not even teach you because when I talk, you follow me. So all of a sudden, uh, this YouTuber has abandoned hospitals, the massive hospitals in Nigeria. <laughs> She's now creating content of white people in Nigeria. How much disgrace are you going to bring? It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's, it's just it's just unfortunate but anyways ghana is having it going jaru came to town build massive build schools for young children at the eastern region of ghana and of course michael what's this guy's name again michael what um is it michael is also building a school in ghana these are the things that people are doing ghana continue to be humble continue to be yourself you will not struggle because god will see you true faking smiling you know it's okay it's okay it's an achievement anyway and you want to be respected when you are busy celebrating the sight of a white man <laughs> in giant of africa a country feed i'm up congratulations to ghana <laughs> i'm done with this video anyways i'll see you guys in my next one <laughs> bye